Hello, this is Dr. Steve. I'd like to go through the process of converting an IBC tote to an arrangement that can be used in an aquaponics grow system. To begin, this is a shot of the IBC tote that we start with. And over here is a shot of the completed system that we'll be building today. The first step will be to remove the top bracket supports from the IBC tote. These happen to be a Torx bit, but I would imagine that uh, one main counter Phillips heads and other, and other types of bolt heads. Let's inspect the top cap to make sure that we have the O-ring in place for later use. And I can see there's an O-ring here and some material that needs to be rinsed out, obviously. We'll get to that in a minute. Tip the IBC tote on its side. And I'm going to remove the plastic tank from the cage and I am going to discard I'm going to discard these black plastic corner pieces. I won't be using them for this project, but you could use them. It all depends on the look that you're going for. Next we'll separate the IBC tote cage to accommodate both the fish tank and uh, the grow bed. The grow bed that I'm going for is going to be 10 inches deep. That's going to be uh, what I choose for this project and of course that's a variable that you can adjust to your liking. So for my uh, application 10 inches I'll be removing or separating uh, the top part of the cage and the bottom part of the cage at this first point. To do this, I want to turn the cage on its side. I'll be using a sawzall to make these cuts. I suppose one could use a variety of different saws. I prefer the, uh, the sawzall or the uh, reciprocating saw. as I make each of the six cuts. six cuts, four cuts, and another six cuts and four cuts. We'll separate the top and the bottom. We'll take the bottom, which is now going to be the grow bed, grow bed platform. We're going to set it down here. We'll put the fish tank or sump tank support off to the side. Rest this on these on these legs. We can also file these ends down and spray paint them uh, to inhibit any rust from collecting. Next, I'll be placing the IBC tote upside down with the top cap down in the newly formed grow bed cage.
I'm using a wonder bar to help facilitate this procedure. Making sure that the tote is fully seated in the cage. I'm going to go ahead and mark 10 inches from each corner. I'm using a pencil. Feel free to use a marking, marking device of your choice. Now I'll remove the tank from the cage after marking all four corners. I'll leave the tank on its side and I'll put the cage out of my way. Now I'm going to take my straight edge and make a mark around the entire tote, 10 inches from the bottom, based off the marks that I made earlier. Flipping the tote at each side to make it easier to work. After marking the tank around the perimeter 10 inches from the bottom for my grow bed height, marking it with a ruler and a pencil, I'm going to take my tool of choice here, which is a circular saw, nice lightweight battery operated circular saw and I'm gonna make a cut around the perimeter of the tank, turning it at each cut and separating the grow tank from the sump slash fish tank. I suppose a plywood blade rather than a, uh, a general purpose wood blade would be better for this application. But this will do the trick just fine. Separating the top and bottom section of the tank. Now what I'm going to do is give them a real good rinse and a good washing. Um, looks like these have some type of uh, food uh, uh, additive here. So we're going to rinse these out. I'm going to wash them with Comet or Ajax that has a little bit of bleach in it. And then I'll probably give them a final uh, wash and rinse with a pressure washer and a good grade of uh, antibacterial soap. After the first good rinsing uh, inside and out, this would be a good opportunity to take some sandpaper or a file and clean up these edges on the top of the uh, tank, the sump fish tank, and also on the grow bed. And then what I'll do after I clean that up is I'm going to use some Clorox and I'm going to get inside here and scrub these out real good with a good brush and uh, some Clorox uh, cleanser. Just using a piece of 40 grit sandpaper to smooth out these edges and take care of any rough cuts. Okay, I cleaned up my edges good enough for now. 
I'm done scrubbing these tanks. Now I'm going to do the final rinse and prepare for the final uh, assembly of these two items in, inside the cages. Okay, this completes the uh, construction of an aquaponic system or setup with either sump or fish tank. Uh, following videos, uh, we'll get into the uh, plumbing of this system, the stocking of fish and plants. Have a nice day.